Hey, this is Brian from QRPZone.com, and today I'm going to be testing the hamstick vertical dive pole. Uh, I did a little bit of testing yesterday, and it worked out great. I managed to work 24 different DX stations between South America and Europe, and uh, 15 different countries, so it worked out really great. I came up to a different location today, a little bit higher up in altitude. It's on the George Washington National Forest area, and uh, I'm going to set it up and show you how this really works. And uh, the CQ Worldwide DX contest is going on this weekend, so I'm hoping to make a bunch of contacts for you. So once I get this set up, I'll be back. Thanks. Okay, so I have uh, hamstick uh, whips for both 20 meters and 40 meters here, and I'm going to configure it into a vertical dipole. And the reason why I like a vertical dipole uh, is that, first of all, I get a great DX angle, a low angle of radiation out um, from the hamsticks. Uh, it works just like a vertical antenna but you don't need all the ground radials. Now here I have a, uh, a T that I made. Uh, it's kind of just a uh, trucker's mirror mount for a CB whip. They would normally mount it to their uh, to their mirror like that with their CB whip going up here. And what I did is I drilled and tapped for a second one and I'll show you here in a second. Let me just load up this 20 meter whip. One goes in here just like a CB whip would. And then the opposing side goes into my other drilled and tapped hole just like that. Okay. Now if I was going to run this horizontally just like this, I would want to get this up as high as possible. But sometimes that's a challenge and really one of the biggest pains in order to get a, uh, a good signal out is trying to get your antenna way high up in the air. Um, and uh, it's really frustrating sometimes because your ropes are getting tangled in all the trees and everything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it this way with the top whip up in the air and the bottom whip after I put these stainless steel whips in there the bottom whip is only going to be about a foot off the ground and I'm going to get a great SWR match and I'm going to get a, a really nice low angle of takeoff with my radio signal so, and hopefully I can get some good DX today. Okay as far as these stainless steel whips go uh, I tuned these at home and I put a little sharpie mark in there so I know exactly how far to insert my uh, whip into the end of the antenna. Loosen that up some. I'll just slide it right into that mark and tighten it up. It's one side and I'll do the other side and then I'll be ready to attach my coax. Okay on my coax connector I have a 90 degree angle bent out so that my coax can come out like this on the side at a 90 degree angle to the antenna. That way my antenna uh, coax doesn't couple to my antenna itself. Okay, this is my launching method, just a piece of concrete that I found at home and tied to a rope. And the cool part is, is that you don't need much rope and you don't have to get it that high. That tree over there is only about uh, 20 feet high, so I'm going to aim for that. On Hopefully I'll get it my first shot. Okay, the way I tie this makes it real easy. I have my whip here and it's got a little nub at the end and then I tie a loop which is already there and I just reach through and pull this piece through and I make myself a little choke or a slip knot and what that does is it grabs the antenna whip and now it's ready to be pulled up nice and simple Good. now because I tuned this at home at about a foot off the ground. I'm going to keep it the same way out here in the field so that my SWR stays the same and I'm not going to need any kind of tuner. And we have the whip about a foot off the ground and that's all I really need. I can go higher but I don't really have to. I'm going to keep things simple just like that. Okay, I found a station in France calling CQ for the worldwide contest so I'm going to try to contact him. Whiskey 3 Alpha Tango Tango. Whiskey 3 Alpha Tango Tango. Alpha Tango Tango Alpha Tango Tango Thank you you're 5905 5905 
Whiskey 3 Alpha Tango Tango. Hey, Whiskey 3 Alpha? Whiskey 3 Alpha Tango Tango. Whiskey 3 Alpha a Tango a Tango. Your 5914 QSL? QSL, your 5905. Whiskey 3 Alpha Tango Tango. Again? Whiskey 3 Alpha Tango Tango. Whiskey 3 Alpha again. Alpha Tango Tango. Alpha Tango Tango. WT Alpha Tango Tango. Thank you. You're 5905.